from Buenos Aires, Argentina. I came to study abroad to Longwood University for a spring semester. I am a communications major and well I always liked the idea of, of studying abroad because I love meeting new people and I wanted to improve my English. Uh, that's like the only second language that I speak fluently and well I'm so happy I, I could achieve my goal of studying abroad. Life here in, in Longwood University, it is so different to what I'm used to back at home. In Buenos Aires, I live with my parents. I commute every day like 40 minutes to go to college by subway. And I just eat at home every day and I don't live with friends at all. And here in Longwood University, I live in a dorm with a roommate in campus. Campus is beautiful and I just have to walk through campus like five minutes to go to, to class. Um, it, this is a small, tiny town, so different to Buenos Aires. In campus, uh, life is different because there are so many activities that Longwood provides to, like, to engage students, to feel part of Longwood maybe. Uh, we have a spring weekend, our sororities and fraternities are all the time like around campus. When I came here, I felt so um, scared, I may say. I, at home, I just have my room for myself. And here I had to share it with, with another person that I didn't know. Um, I had met her in Skype before, and she was pretty cool. Well, my first thought in general, getting a roommate, because I hadn't had one for the first semester, I was like, oh, I'm getting a roommate. Cool, finally. And then when I found out with someone from International, I got really, really scared. Because <laughs> I was like, what if she doesn't like me? She's from a different culture. Like, is her time zone going to be different? Is she going to be going to bed at 2 o'clock when I'm trying to go to bed at midnight? So I think I was really scared about, like, I guess, offending you in a way. So I think that was my first thought when getting a uh, roommate from another country. When I first started thinking about studying at Longwood, uh, the person who I got in touch with was Dr. Kane. She called me on Skype, we had a Skype interview. She realized that my English was good and that I was really excited to come to Longwood University. So she called me during the application process and then during my semester here. My first impression of you is that you were very excited and you were very ready to come. Um, and, and ready to find out all you needed to know to, to make it to make it successful, make yourself successful while you were here. I remember talking to you on Skype, getting off of the call and saying that she really knows what she wants to do, and that's fantastic. Um, so you were a little ahead of the game, which was good. Introduce new students to American culture by requiring them to attend orientations at the very beginning of their uh, terms at Longwood. Um, and they will get to work with our global leaders, um, which is a, a program that we have to provide international and exchange students with uh, mentors, with buddies, basically, who function to help you know, figure out how Longwood works, but also to sort of uh, acclimate socially and to get to know what, um, what life at Longwood is like. Um, there are all kinds of activities that are available to, to all Longwood students, but in particular we encourage our international and exchange students to participate through the student union, um, the, the different kinds of events that we have on campus that really help to um, show students what uh, life at an American university is like. I think it's great um, to have international students at Longwood. We are a small school, but we have a lot of spirit. And I think we really kind of show what it is to be like an American college student here. And I think it's really cool for Longwood students to experience like having international students on their campus. So my first impression in like sharing different cultural like ideas and values is that a lot of times things that seem so normal to me um, being an American just seem really ridiculous like and funny to international students or just like really new and different like they're not used to it like I know for example 
our portion sizes, like with meals, are so large, and everyone just thinks that's really funny when they come here. So it's kind of embarrassing sometimes, like as an American, but it's you know it's our culture. <laughs> Life here in, in the United States is so different compared to Argentinian life. We have different meal plans, uh, we have different um, activities, like different party times. Americans have um, this attitude of like go, go, go all the time and we're really stressed out about like work and like deadlines and things like that and I feel like um, it's not like that in other societies like you know work is important but so is like social things and having fun and like having like a good balance and like not getting so consumed by stress I think like stress is a really American thing I mean like everybody's stressed out but I think we like romanticize it sometimes um, so I just like would like to take it a little easier <laughs> could be like so big but here I got to meet this guy that uh, he goes to Hamden Sydney that is an art school here in Farmville his name is Jack he went to study abroad to Argentina to Mendoza my hometown and when he told me about that I felt so proud and I was so excited to to have somebody who with I could talk and share common thoughts and experiences of studying abroad in Argentina, I liked how everything kind of seemed free, uh, everything kind of a free atmosphere. The culture was different, but uh, it seemed like there wasn't as much structure or rules as there is here in the United States. Uh, and everybody was just kind of did what they wanted to do. And most, I liked how people like to stay up late and uh, kind of get their rest during the daytime. And then at nighttime, that's when all the fun happened. I really liked that part of it. Farmville is a really, really small town, while Buenos Aires is a crazy city. Um, here I didn't have much to do sometimes uh, during the weekends, uh, but that's when I knew that I had to make a lot of friends, that they would introduce me to a lot of new people and places, and um, you just get to to know what to do and you just walk Main Street and you go to restaurants and go to some party and then you go to somebody's house and just chill. Throughout the semester I got to know a lot of people here. I made a lot of friends and I just felt at home here at Longwood. I knew different places in the United States as well. I guess Longwood gave me this chance of improving my English and feeling part of a great family that are the Lancers.